Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create an AI assistant that has access to multiple documents or data sources and also APIs. Uh, one cool thing that you can do with AI assistants is of course to add a bunch of data to it. And one cool thing that the assistants can do if you configure them correctly is to actually compare data between different data sources that you have attached to it. So I'll show you how to do this in a uh, from from start to production uh, in uh, 10 minutes, basically. So and the end result is something like this. This is what we want in the end. And we want it to be able to do queries and answer questions such as compare five revenue and sales KPIs for Amazon and Nvidia in a table. So what it will do is that it will basically go through the documents and then come up with some, uh, you know, uh, KPIs and you can, you can ask it basically whatever, but it is able to compare both. And if it finds something, it'll, uh, you know, list it in a table as an example, you can ask whatever type of questions you want and you can add whatever type of data you want. So that's the goal today. And we'll start off by uh, going into a replit repo that I have created for this. And I'll go through each step. There are some prerequisites. Um, you can basically fork off this uh, repo after, you know, watching the video. And what you would need to do is to first, of course, install the SuperAgent TypeScript JavaScript library, which is basically npm i superagent ai dash js and you will have the dependency for our sdk which runs in production on our cloud platform uh, this you can configure as well but uh, the second thing you need is two uh, environment variables so i have the superagent superagent api token and the open ai api key and the data sources uh, that we want to use I've listed here. So it's the Amazon Q2 earnings report and the Tesla Q2 earnings report. And as you see, we have a title, description, type and URL. The description is super important as well as the title because it will basically be used by the AI assistant to determine what doc data source or document to use when. So it's important that we state what it's useful for. Then we have a prompt and uh, it's a basic prompt. You're an AI assistant that's an expert at analyzing earning reports, et cetera, et cetera. So what we would need to do is to import the library and then set up the, the SDK client. And that we do by passing in a token or an environment. And if you've uh, forked off and deployed this on your own servers, you can actually add your own API token and your own environment to run this SDK, which is pretty cool actually. Then we have a function called uh, create assistant, which is basically what we will run in the end and it will do three or four things. It will set up an LLM, it will create an agent, it will connect the LLM to an agent, and then it will create the data sources and connect those to the agent as well. Now there is one thing and when you add multiple data sources at once, OpenAI, which we'll, we will be using in this tutorial, has a rate limit on how many embeddings you can run simultaneously. So we will need to set a timeout. And that timeout can be more like, we can set it to five seconds or 10 seconds to be on the safe side. And we will use this, but we'll start with setting up an LLM. And the way we do that is to define a variable call it LLM, and then we start using the superagent client. And as you see, there is a LLM object on the client and we want to create. So we will do that. And this uh, call uh, basically takes an object. And so we want a provider, which is OpenAI in our case. And we also want a API key, which is our process.env open AI API key. You can also pass in options here, and those would be temperature and things like that. But this is the basics of what we need to create an LLM. 
And then we need to create an agent and the same process there. So we just write define the variable and then await super, oh, super agent. And then we go to agent object and, and create. And so we will need to do the same thing there. So we have something called name. So we call it earnings assistant and we would need to give it a description and assistant that's an expert at analyzing earning reports we need to set it to active of course we need to uh, add a prompt to it and we have a prompt defined already so we'll use that and the last thing we need to do is to define what model we want it to use so this could be any model that super agent supports and i'll use the 3.5 turbo 16k 06 13 which is the function calling model with 16k context window which could be re reasonable when we do you know uh, large documents and data sources. So next step, now we have our agent. Next step is to connect the um, LLM to the agent. And, and it, that's pretty straightforward. We can just await super agent and then again, the agent. And then we will have a method called add LLM. And that takes an agent ID. So we'll pass in the agent.id and an object called LLM ID, which will be the LLM.id. So that's all we need to create or connect the LLM to the agent. Next part is the tricky part, uh, since we need to actually have a timeout in it. But what we will do here is that we will iterate over these data sources and create a data source object and then connect that data source object object to the agent itself. So the way we do that is like this. Basically define the data source of data sources and here we want to first run this because we want this to run uh, every 10 seconds so that we don't hit the rate limiting and then we can start creating our data source we call this data source and then await uh, super agent of course and then we want to create a data source and the data source has a name which we have in our array it's called title there as you see here so we'll just grab this and then we have the description which is data source description and then we will have the URL, which is the data source underscore URL and the type. So data source underscore type. That should be everything we need to create a data source. And then the next step would be to connect that data source to the agent. So agent and then add data source and here we have to pass in the agent ID and the data source ID so that would be data source dot ID there we go now we have connected the uh, um, data source to the agent and uh, the next step is to actually run all, all of this of course and to see that uh, we have everything created in the dashboard as you say, see it it hasn't even gone 10 minutes and we have it ready to roll. And so let's just go to the console and then press run. So oh, it finished without any errors, which is cool. All right, so the next step here is to check the dashboard and see if we have uh, created uh, the data sources we should have. 
Yeah, we have the Tesla earnings report and the Amazon earnings report here, and they are both processed. That means that they are, uh, you know, ingested into the agent through a vector store in our case. And then we need to find the earnings assistant uh, assist agent. And that one is here, as you see. And we need to check that the documents or data sources are actually added and the model is correct and everything. And we can start, you know, querying it. So that's about it. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll post the link to this REPL so you can uh, copy it and play around with it. That's all for today. Thanks.